Ashun is set to be positioned as one of the leading states in Nigeria in terms of the economy. Chairman Oshun Development Association, ODA, Dr. Shegu Aino, dropped these hints at a reception held in honor of the leading lights of the state, themed Honor Well End. The event, which was held in Lagos, had government functionaries, captains of industries, and the Comptroller General of the Nigerian Customs Service, Adewale Adeni, among others in attendance. Our correspondent Paul George was there. <laughs> Notable indigenous of Oshun are gathered in this hall. Their agenda is to fraternize and collaborate to ensure development of Oshun State as well as to honor accomplished sons and daughters. Top on the list of the honorees are the immediate past governor of Oshun State, Gwega Oyetola, the chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Tarid Abiodu Lagbaja and the Comptroller General, Nigeria Customs Service, Adewale Adeni. The Chairman of the Oshun Development Association, Dr. Shegun Aino, speaks on the impact of the group towards the development of the state. It's been a wonderful experience being a member of this organization and also now had the opportunity since 2017 to be the, the chairman. And we have seen the relevance, the impact over the years. We work with all governments, given the caliber of people that Oshun State has and the kind of turnaround that we can have in Oshun. So what positioning is as, the, as, one, as one of the leading, if not the number one state in terms of economic development in Nigeria. One of the icons from the state Former Minister of Foreign Affairs, Professor Bolaji Akiemi, commends the association for its achievement. He expresses joy for being a part of the organization. In the same vein, the Controller General, Nigeria Customs Service, Adewale Adeni, while commending the ODA for honoring him, says he is aware of the responsibility of leadership. He promises to continue to uphold the values of the group. Admire the values of ODA. I admire their vision for Oshun State. The transition from the old generation to the young generation assures me that ODA is going to be going places. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to honor you. In honoring you, we are honoring ourselves. We know about the very heavy responsibility, the great expectations, the burden of leadership. Practically, we carry the aspiration and the goals of Nigeria. So it's a very, very big responsibility. And uh, we hope that God will be able to be able to discharge this responsibility. Other honorees are also hopeful that the association can help drive development in the state. I think that technology is going to be key to unlocking the potential of the state. We all now know that oil is no longer the, the greatest thing to come out of Nigeria, but actually it's talent. ODA will play a key role in this through our role with the um, Innovation and Tech Committee. One of the things we've launched recently is the Scribe Initiative where we're looking to empower 50,000 Oshun State indigenous over the next seven years with digital skills to be able to make imp um, impact across the world. Related being part of this development organization, it provides a platform to give back to the society and contribute meaningfully to development, especially when you talk of the youths, which segment which I belong to. It's an opportunity to encourage them, motivate them and groom the leaders of tomorrow with a view to developing and building a better and bigger society in Nigeria that we all look forward to. The Oshun Development Association, ODA, is an assembly of non-partisan Osho State elders, thought leaders, technocrats and professionals. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.